What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about body damage and me trying to fix it, at least just a little bit. Now, when you go wheeling like I do, I know you guys do too, you get body damage. It's just the nature of what we do. Expect body damage, it is what it is, but sometimes it gets so extreme, like with my windshield, I smashed that thing up so bad that I had to replace it. It just, I couldn't put a top on it. It couldn't, it just was really bad. So. Hence, new windshield. Now, probably a year and a half ago, I dropped, basically the Jeep fell onto a boulder, onto this tube on this Pro Comp rock slider, and it smashed my tub in so much that I can barely open my door. Now, I've been dealing with that for a year and a half because I just didn't want to deal with it. It just was a pain in the butt. I didn't want to do body work. Barnes Four Wheel Drive sent me a new rock slider that doesn't have a tube, which is good and bad. It has good bad, good things and bad things about it. One, I like having the tube. One, you got the step. Two, uh, you know, when you hit trees or rocks, it kind of pushes you away, keeps your A pillar out of trees and kind of pulls you around it and, you know, slide around it like a rock slider. One of the negatives about it is exactly what happened to this. So if I did not have this tube on here, my tub would not be destroyed right now. The rock actually caught the back of this rock slider and pushed it up into the tub, causing all of the damage. Now this will be a somewhat temporary fix. It, I, I mean, I say that now, and maybe it'll be on there for years, I don't know. I would like to do boat side, actually boat side the tub. So we're gonna cut the tub, notch it out down, give us more clearance there, and then build a rock slider off of the frame to keep the tub and the rock slider separate so this situation doesn't happen again. Let's pull this off and see what the damage is. All right guys, I got this side apart. You can see this is smashed up here. I mean, it is what it is. This is pinched right here. So this whole door sill is pushed in a little bit in the front. You can see it's kind of angled in towards the cab and it gets worse as we go here. So the main thing, the most important thing to me is pushing the sill back out. So this is a little more flat. So my door opens and close and then this is going to cover it up. This is the bad part right here. Um, in camera, it's hard to tell, but it's in a good four inches in this corner because the edge of the rock hit right in this corner and pushed this in right here. And I might end up cutting some of this out uh, because I can't get to it from the inside. There is the roll bar here, and then there's a you know another piece of sheet metal on the inside. I have to cut. Basically, I'd have to take the whole roll cage out, which would be the proper thing to do because I can't get behind here either because the roll cage goes down to the floor. I can't get behind this. There's stuff here. I can't get behind this. So it's really limiting my options. So basically, my main goal is to push this out so my door closes better. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna start smashing stuff with a hammer and see if I can make it better. Oh, hey there, it's Kelly from Muddy Beards 4x4 from the guy from this video. When I found out that 85.6% of you guys that are watching my videos on YouTube are not subscribed, man, 
really just, it really just got to me. You might be wondering what's the deal with this. Don't, don't worry about this. Um, but I will give you guys the opportunity right now to go and subscribe to the channel because, um, you know, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, don't worry about the, the sledgehammer or the axe here, you know. Uh, don't worry about that. That's not a threat. Um, but I'm going to give you the time to go down and subscribe right now. I'll wait. Okay, back to the video. I have my laser level here on uh, my Harbor Freight jack that I modified. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out. So I have the laser at the bottom of the front. So this is, it's pushed up a little bit in the front, but not bad. So I have it level here, and you can see on my arm of my shirt, it's going to be level no matter what this is. It's just the nature of the laser level. So we're going to go down to the back um, of the Jeep here. So the tub is pushed up at least a half an inch in the back here. So in order for me to drop this down at all, I would have to move the whole floor of the Jeep in this corner down, and that takes a lot of pressure. There's just there's no way that that's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to, but I'm going to cut the tub right here, basically like a fish mouth from zero to a half an inch all the way down to the back. So at the end here, it will be a half an inch gap and I'll taper it down to nothing here. So that way it'll have something to squish into. So this uh, door sill can drop down and I'll have clearance for my door. So we got our high lift jack pushing down and then I also set up my 12 ton Harbor Freight jack pushing this way so I have pressure coming from this way and going down. We got the rock slider on and this rear fender on. And as you can see, there's not really much you can see unless you get super close. I will be using some of this uh, flame red Chrysler color match, same stuff I used on the windshield right here. I'll kind of spray this area right here where it's flaking off just so it doesn't look quite so bad. And then uh, I'm gonna drill this out a little bit more where it's all jacked up and I'm gonna use a huge washer on the inside and just kind of squish this together. So it should hold it here and this won't rattle around like it used to. Before I do final assembly, installing everything on the Jeep for the last time, I have the rock sliders painted. I use the Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. Um, this is not a rubberized thing. It's basically like a black, a matte black with kind of a grain feel to it. It's what I've used on everything on my Jeep. I really like it. It's kind of hard to find. The only place I've been able to find it lately is at Harbor Freight. And they're like $12 a can. A lot of money but totally worth it anytime i harbor freight and i see them i buy a bunch of cans i buy them out so i know that i have them when i need to touch up or do a project like this the other thing that i need to mention is that these rock sliders are made to go from the end to the end of the tub as you can see mine don't go to the end i have these custom homemade uh fenders that don't quite go to the end so instead of basically cutting this off cutting this fender off and redoing all of this. I ended up just cutting off the ends of these. Here's the two ends that I cut off one side and the other side. So I am missing two bolt holes, one on the front 
and one on the rear, but I am not going to use those. I'm just going to use the four in the center here. Also, you can see I use that touch-up paint in the spot and no longer just bare metal. It doesn't look the greatest, but as you can tell, once we get this rock slider on there it's and the door's on there, you're not going to be able to notice it unless you get super close. Also, this hole right here used to have the nut cert in it, and I drilled basically all the way through right here, and I had drilled a hole previously in here so I could pound the outside of this out, and I utilized that hole and just put a nut and squeeze it all together. So now this will not rattle around like it used to. Oh, that just... Oh, I just fell on my foot. Look at that. Oh, that hurt. <sighs> okay. Um, this used to rattle around. No longer rattling. So the passenger side ended up being a little bit more difficult than I thought. Um, I had to hammer this out a lot. And I was able to utilize my bottle jack from the frame to the body right here. And I was able to push this out about two inches. Uh, because this was there's a big gap right here and I was able to push this body out and uh, you can see right here there's still a little bit of a gap here but I used to be able to shove like two fingers in between this and the tub right here no longer the case way better and the rock slider fits a lot better so let's clean all this up and all we got to do is just bolt everything back on bolt the body back down and we should be good to go Well, here it is guys out in the sunlight i think it turned out pretty good definitely a million times better than before uh, the fitment of the tub is pretty good you got to give a couple yanks one-handed and it opens uh, the fitment of this is a million times better i think um, overall i'm super happy with the way it turned out well that's going to do it for this video guys i am going to be as this video is released i will be at reader foothills orv park so check me out on social media for awesome pictures of these new rock sliders in action. If you want to follow me there, I am at MuddyBeards4x4. And if you want to support the companies that support me and this channel, make sure you check it out. Links are all in the description. Barnes Four Wheel Drive, obviously the biggest supporter of this channel. If you want 10% off any of your suspension parts or projects that you got coming up for this winter, make sure you use the coupon code MuddyBeards at checkout or just click the link in the description automatically gives you 10% off. Also, Onyx Off-Road, supporter of the channel as well, you can get a free trial and 20% off your subscription service if you click the link in the description and use our coupon code MUDDYBEARDS as well. Until next time, guys, well, we'll see you on the trail.